Today we're going to do a quick field strip of the Walther PPQ, so stick around. Welcome back crew, and today we're going to do another quick field strip. Today we're going to use the uh, Walther PPQ, and uh, this is going to be a special one. This is going to be another blind challenge. Um, Patriot in the Dark out there has extended a blind challenge that we uh, do field strips on our firearms basically blindfolded so that we kind of verbally walk somebody that might be visually impaired through the process now if you'd like to see more videos for the uh, hashtag blind challenge i'll put a little link up in the corner of course for that so let's get started today first of all uh, walther makes it really simple to do a field strip on this thing uh, designed really well uh, but we do need to go over a couple things real quick and uh, do a safety check so first let's kind of use open palms let's fill everything out uh, being mindful that the muzzle is to the left the grip is to the right uh, hopefully by now you know what a muzzle and the grip is the grip is where obviously you hold on to the firearm the muzzle is uh, the business end and if we fill along the bottom side of that uh, grip, uh, you'll feel a little, a little ridge at the very bottom. That's the base pad for the magazine. We're going to come up on the left side of that uh, grip. We're going to come up and we should meet a little flat, smooth area. That's going to be the trigger guard. The trigger's inside that. So until we have verified this thing to be safe, stay away from the trigger. Now once we locate that trigger guard we can move with our thumbs or our fingers move to the right just a little bit uh, and you should find it's it's rather flat but it does have a little texture it's a little round button that's going to be your mag release if you'll push that with your left thumb uh, while you've got your right hand down around the bottom of the grip should feel that mag uh, come out you can pull the magazine out of course uh, you want to Pay attention to this magazine and the orientation. You've got a round edge on the bottom and a flat edge on one side. So the round edge uh, always is going to go when you reinsert the magazine to the front of the pistol, the flat edge to the rear. Not a big deal, but we want to be mindful with that uh, as we proceed. So magazine's out, but we still need to check the chamber. So uh, going off the location of that magazine release button, uh, let's move our hands and our fingers up toward the slide, and we should uh, run across a, a ledge there. And when we run across that ledge, it uh, may not feel like much, but uh, try to wiggle it with your fingers. You should get uh, just a little bit of up and down play, not a lot. And on the top side of that little ledge, there should be some uh, some grooves, some little texture or serrations that is going to be uh, your slide catch so what we want to do is we want to tilt the pistol up toward us we want to grip it uh, put our right thumb on that slide catch uh, grab the slide with our left hand pull it all the way to the rear and push that slide catch up releasing pressure then on the slide it should lock back uh, if we feel along the slide here we should uh, find an open area. At that point, we want to stick our finger in there, get something in there, uh, make sure that there's not one in the chamber. Should there uh, had been one in the chamber, likely it would have ejected and fell onto the table. So uh, if you heard a noise when you racked the slide, that's probably what it was. Now we can simply just push that slide lock down with our right thumb. Uh, that will release the slide it'll go back into position uh, and we are verified safe now one thing to note about the slide lock on this if we tilt the pistol up it is ambidextrous uh, you can feel that on either side which means I don't know if you're right or left-handed you could kind of reverse the the procedure here so with everything safe uh, now it's time to remove the slide and uh, finish up the field strip Again, Walther makes this very easy. So uh, find that slide lock. Move your fingers along to the left just before 
the uh, slide lock ends. You'll have the grooved portion of that slide lock. It'll go kind of to a little flat, uh, smooth area. And then you'll reach what is kind of a little square. And that little square also has little uh, serrations on it. Now if we tilt the pistol up a little bit and we feel directly across on the opposite side, we will feel that there's little serrations there as well. Now with our thumb and index finger of our left hand, we're going to grab uh, that slide release on both sides. We're going to push that down and pull the trigger. Then we will simply grab the slide in our left hand. We'll grab the grip frame in our right hand and we'll pull the slide to the left and off of the grip frame. Now there are a couple things to note on the grip frame before we proceed. We're fixing to set it to the side. We don't need it. But uh, if you feel around the top middle area of the grip frame, you'll notice you've got uh, a little area on both sides of the grip frame that is raised and has a little channel or a little groove. If you feel toward the back of the grip frame, you also have a little area that has a little channel and a groove. Now this is going to be important when we're going back together to make sure that we line that slide up and get it in both sets of those channels. Now if we feel along the top of the slide, uh, again the muzzle ends to the left, uh, rear of the slide is to the right, and we can also verify that by feeling on the top of the slide, and we'll notice that we have our uh, little thin front blade on the left side and our wider rear side on the right. So let's flip that where the uh, sights are down and let's feel around here. On the left side we've got a smooth portion. If we feel along the front of the muzzle end we'll notice we've got two holes there. Uh, we've got the hole on the bottom of course that is going to be the barrel. The hole on the top is where the guide rod spring is at. And that's what we're dealing with now. So as we move from left to right across the slide We'll feel that spring, uh, and we we'll, should easily be able to tell where that ends, uh, and it'll be kind of flat on the end. That point, just push on that flat area, uh, push it to the left, and pull it up just a hair, let off pressure, and the guide rod spring assembly will come out, and that's a done deal. Now, let's go back uh, again and fill down in the slide, and we got the smooth area of the slide we drop off. It's a little bit deeper, but you can feel the barrel down in there. It's really smooth. Uh, as we move back, you get into the uh, lug of the barrel there. Uh, you can feel a kind of a half moon indention shape. That's going to be where that guide rod sits. So important to remember that as we go back together. Uh, and as we move back, we get the chamber uh, and all that good stuff of the barrel. So barrel, a uh, similar thing. You just want to kind of push to the left on that barrel and uh, lift it up and pull it out. Time to go back together with this. It'll go back together just as easily as it come apart. So make sure I've got the grip frame and the magazine to the sides there. I'm going to search around here for my barrel. There's my barrel. I'm going to search around for the uh, for the guide rod. I find my slide again. I want to look for the end with two holes. That's going to be the muzzle end. It'll be two holes on one side. Uh, you can also identify the left and right front and rear by the sights. So the two holes is going to be the one uh, blade, the little front sight blade. So there we go. And our orientation is correct. Muzzle end is to the left, uh, rear to the right. Going to flip that up. Uh, the top of the slide will be down, so the sights will be down on the table. And let's find our barrel now. Now we're going to take our barrel, and again it goes in that bottom hole. Uh, so we're going to slide that back into place, obviously with a smooth portion of the barrel uh, going in first. We're going to slide that into the left. Uh, slide it in until it kind of drops into place, and then we can pull it back, and it should, uh, should click into place, slide it to the left, pull it back slightly to the right, and everything should drop into place. Now with the guide rod spring, 
Uh, we need to make sure the orientation on it since we just threw it on the table willy-nilly there. And uh, for those that are uh, visually capable, it's really easy to know which end goes to the muzzle, which end goes uh, back to the rear. Uh, the black end will go toward the muzzle, the blue end will go toward the rear. Uh, unfortunately, for those visually impaired, and for myself right now, as I'm, uh, as I'm blindfolded, I'm going to have to go uh, with size. And it would fill both ends, and we, we're kind of feeling around for the plastic pieces on each end. We'll notice one is smaller than the other. That smaller end is the black end. That is the side that will go in first. And again, that's going to slide into that top hole there that we're dealing with on the bench. We'll find it, and we'll push that into the... Uh, to the left and it doesn't go too terribly far in there it just kind of sits in a in a little pocket uh, but remember our little half moon shaped area on the barrel here so we've got to push that spring assembly to the left let it fall down just a little bit into that groove that half moon shaped groove on the barrel uh, and once we do that everything should be good and in place now let's bring the grip frame back into the picture. We're going to hold that uh, grip frame with our right hand. We're going to pick up our slide with the left hand. Now remember those channels that we were talking about on this grip frame. And we also have little channels uh, that you can feel as well on the slide. So we want to make sure that we mate all of that up well. I'm going to feel around here with my fingers on my left hand as my uh, palm of my hand more or less holds the slide. There it is. So let's see if we can get those lined up without being able to see them. Might not be able to get it done the first time. If not, that's okay. But once you get it in those channels, you'll notice that the uh, when you're feeling of it on both sides of that slide, it mates up to the frame really, really well. Uh, so once you get it in those channels, you can give it a little tug, make sure it's there. Continue to push back. Uh, to the right with that slide, uh, holding a little pressure, holding it down to the uh, grip frame just a little bit, not uh, not too terribly much. And then once you get to the back of the grip frame with that slide, remember again, you got those grooves, you got to get them lined up. Once you get them lined up and the slide is sort of flush with the rear of the grip frame, just give it a good rack. Uh, push to the right with your left hand to the uh, or rather the uh, right with your left hand to the left with your uh, right hand and there we go now we fill around grab our magazine remembering that the uh, bottom of the magazine you'll be able to tell the bottom of the magazine has a round edge and then uh, of course a flat edge there on the other side the top you kind of put your finger in that you can feel the follower uh, push down on it. You know that's the follower end. That's the follower and you're pushing down on the spring. Anyway, that's the end that's going to go up into the grip with the round edge of the magazine toward the muzzle end uh, or to the left in this case on the uh, firearm. Push up in there, click it into place, and we are done. If you'd like to participate in the blind challenge, Simply upload a video taking down one of your pistols while blindfolded, of course. And upload that with the hashtag blind challenge as well as the hashtag Patriot in the Dark. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.